Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today we're back with my 1959 Cadillac DeVille, and we've been doing quite a bit with this little angel. We actually just got done doing an engine flush, and we also did the radiator coolant. We did that. We also went around and flushed the brake fluid, but today we're gonna be doing a wheel cylinder. So that's this right here. We're gonna take it off. We're gonna go ahead and clean it out with our brush and we're gonna go ahead and do the process. Let's kick it off. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, click the notification bell. That way you'll be able to come back and watch all these videos later. And we also started working on the chrome, some other stuff like that, going through the interior. We're getting everything all dialed in. Pretty soon we're gonna be out trouncing around. We're gonna start with our front wheel and this wheel hub is uh, has a little bit of wear. Take a look how much wear is on this. And you can see it got a lot of heat at one time. We actually re-greased it, it runs super smooth. And there's a little bit of grooving, but we decided we're gonna use it anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this. This is the original piece from 1959. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come with our MP metal protector. This is a like a PP blaster, it's a penetrating oil protects rusted metal. Uh, it's really good for uh, loosening fasteners, all kinds of metals, locks. So we're gonna come here and we're gonna hit all our major components. We're gonna be taking off all our springs, everything like that. And this modulates really easy. It's super easy to use. And uh, after we hit that, we're gonna come in the back side. I'll show you that now. We're go ahead and hit our bolt here in the back. That's where our wheel drum is, our wheel cylinder. Hit that and that's it, good to go. Done. Our brake tool, we're gonna go ahead and uh, this is my first time ever doing my first set of drum pads and redoing a uh, cylinder. So well, here we go. So I think we come straight on here and we spin this little bad boy. It should pull that spring off and like that. And hop, 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 hop. There she is, there's the nook. Stickler. So that's it. Come here. And there she blows. A little bit of a stickler. And there she blows. It's my first time taking off some springs on a caliber. Set that down. Come here. Pop that. The spring falls. The spring falls. This here, you push in and you spin it until it comes off like that. It's halfway. Nope. Got to push it in. Spin it. Nope. We'll have to figure that out. She blows. There's one. There she is. That. And we got one off. There we are. Drop that. Boom. And boom. All right. All right. So we got all our hardware off. Our front pad, which was right here, had a lot of meat on it. It didn't crack, doesn't look like it broke or nothing. But this back one actually broke. And it actually overheated. And these are the old riveted type. The new type of pads are actually bonded on. And uh, it's discrepancy of what people like better. Uh, for me, you know, my feeling is this will probably hold heat better. It probably won't crack as easy. Um, but I just really don't know, to be honest. But it'll be neat to see what it feels like, and it'll be neat to have even breakings. There's a little bit of pulling since the pads are messed up, and I'm assuming all the fluid has been overheated inside here, because this broke, and there's some scarring in there, in there inside that actual drum. There's actually a little bit of ridges. So because of that overheating, uh, especially on an old system with old 
uh, brake fluid, which isn't synthetic, like what we're going to put in, which we already have it in there. Uh, so I'm sure it's going to be a whole lot better. So let's go ahead and get this wheel cylinder off. Got the impact wrench in here. It's a 9 16 Let's go ahead and take off that wheel cylinder. Here we go. There we go. She's done. Five eighths. And now all we do is just tap it. And I jumped the gun a little bit and I actually took off the wheel cylinder first. You got to take the line off first. You know, sometimes in life you just gotta wait a little, you know. <laughs> so here we go. There she is. That's it. She's loose. I thought she was. <laughs> All right, and also if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, tap the notification bell, is we're gonna be doing some optimization stuff on this thing. And you say, well, what do you mean? Better gas mileage, more power? Well, Take a look. All right, that's a little hint of what's to come. All right, I wanna show you something. So I tried to take off the brake line with this 5 8 and this is a standard Craftsman wrench. It's very soft, it's a cheap wrench. And what happened is when I went to, to take it off, it basically just scissors and pushes to the side when you go to pry it. So I got this, it's a lot thicker, and uh, it has four edges to touch instead of two. Should be able to come off like butter. We finally cracked her loose. I had to kind of put half my back in the wheel well, get up on my right hand side and pull it. It took about 130 pounds of uh, pull from about nine, 10 inches out. So it was torqued down 100 pounds. So I finally got it off. Now I can take off the wheel cylinder, just take it off by hand. Let's see what this fluid looks like. Here we go, we're taking off our wheel cylinder after uh, 60 years. We'll see what she looks like. Let's see, first time ever doing a wheel cylinder. All right. And there she blows. So we bled this before, so here's the line, the hose which looks like I'm sure it's probably been replaced once before. And uh, let's take a look what we got. All right. Take her apart. All kinds of rust, lots of flakage, lots of greasy rust all up in the rubbers. This pin looks pretty good. That looks a little funky. Take off this rubber. There's that. Definitely gonna need some cleaning up. Take off this one. This one is dry. This one looked a little wet. That just kind of pushed out on its own. Here's a rubber right here. Lots of stickiness behind it. Some air bubbles. Looks like some uh, oxidation over the years. Taking it out. And there's our spring. Got a whole clot of sludge, uh, kind of like mineral oil, real greasy, gritty, like sandpaper. And now we're gonna go ahead and finger in here, see what we got. It feels pretty smooth. Everything looks pretty good there. Um, definitely got some good sludge. I have to clean that up. And uh, there it is, you can see inside. Got lots of uh, sludge. All right, so let's go ahead and clean her up. We got a clean towel. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this through and let's see what it looks like. Here we go. Got the sludge in there. Let's see what that looks like after 60 years. Let's poke it through and yank her through. There we 
are. Got a little bit of stuff in there. We're gonna have to hone that. You can see that pitting. All right, let's do it. It's that time to start spraying everything. We got our parts cleaner. This is all the hardware on this set of brakes. We got both springs. We got the two little teeny springs. We got the spring inside the, uh, the wheel cylinder. We got, uh, this is our adjustment at the bottom. And we'll start there, here we go. Let's do it. Beautiful. Here's our pins. Here's our little metal liners that go inside. We're gonna go ahead and spray these and then we're gonna brush them. We got our plastic brush. Little teeny spring at the bottom for the adjustment piece. This goes on this right. See what we got. And this is a plastic brush so it won't scratch the metal. We'll try to get any of that carbon out of there. All right, come on in, take a look. We got our honer tool. This is like a little stone that actually uh, go ahead and sands the inside. And here is the inside. You'll see in there, you'll see that little bit of corrosion in there. And uh, it's got like a little bit of extra rise to it. So we're gonna go ahead and wet up our uh, tool here. Get her all lubed up. Dump a little brake fluid in here. Just like so. Go ahead and wet her up. She's all nice and wet. And that's it, here we go. Take it and stick her in. Just run her nice and slow. Good. Hey, everything's looking good. Time to put her back together. All right, I wanted to mention something. This is where the brake line goes in, and there was actually some sludge in there, and that's really important to clean out. So I put the towel in there and all that, and then this is the, the old rubber that sat, sat in there, and you want to make sure you don't get any scratches in there, because if you do, this is the only thing that seals it. So when that little rubber sits in there, that's your only way to seal it. So you want to keep it as smooth as possible. And that's pretty much it. Right, it's that time to assemble her. We're putting her back together. We're using our .3.4 synthetic brake fluid. And this boils quite a bit over .4 specification. So you got extra protection. And uh, this also helps with seals and everything else. So now we're going to go ahead and just get this nice and wet. Put some fresh fluid on here. Get her all super wet and saturated. We got our cylinders all good. And here we go. This goes in first. Then this goes in like so. Nice and tight. There we are. Slide in like butter. Put a little brake fluid in. Good. Now we got this. This is all nice and wet. This goes in right here. like so. All right, now we're putting our other side on. So we got our spring in the middle. And now we go ahead and slip on our metals. These just go in here like this. This goes in like this. Just like that. There we are. Beautiful. And now we uh, come with our outside caps. 
Got our outside cap. This goes here like this. Put our rubbers on and boy are they tight. Some good firm tight rubbers. And now it's time for our second one. I'm going to show you how tight these things are. The imagination. Got our caps on, and now we're just going to put a little tidge of grease on the end of this metal. And that's just going to have a little bit of a film. And what that's going to do is that's going to slip in here really good and smooth. And there we are. Stick her in. Easy as pie. Do our other one. It's like putting a little French fry in ketchup. There we go. Take it, stick her in, give her a little spin, and she's in. All right, we're gonna clean this area up since we got everything out of there. Might as well just hit it with a little bit of brake clean. And there we go. We're gonna go ahead and wire her up. That's good. All clean. And uh, we got a lot of the old brake material off. Now we're going to use the MP metal protector. This helps stop rust, keeps metal protected. And we're just going to go ahead and just pepper it. We'll take off the straw and just hit the whole thing. And boom, it is protected. All right, we got her all put together. We're going to start greasing our shaft in a second. But uh, we actually had to uh, loosen up the bleeder screw to allow, uh, to release the pressure to go ahead and push these together. And so we're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. We're gonna grease the shaft up. And there we are. Boom. We put our hub on, we're going to go ahead and break clean our pads just for extra due diligence. Make sure they're all nice and clean. There's no oil on there, nothing like that. There's any residuals. That's it. Let's do it. Here we go. So a couple hours later of playing with this little angel, we got it all dialed in. Take a listen. We got it just barely touching. It's just barely touching. And there's this little screwdriver. You take a screwdriver and you adjust it right here underneath and you push the dial to get it exactly adjusted. And uh, we bled the brake line. Now we're going to throw on our wheel and go driver. And we're also going to be doing this next. This is our Raybestos master brake cylinder. And we're actually going to redo it because there's a little bit of uh, corrosion inside. And instead of fighting with that and um, sandblasting it and all that, we said we'll just get another one. I think this costs like 60 bucks, so no big deal. It comes with the whole, uh, all the hardware and everything. Put all your rubbers, your springs in. And there it is, all fresh and honed. And uh, that's inside. And there's the top reservoir. And that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna go test driver, and we'll be back to do the master and keep the saga going. If you're loving these videos, definitely give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Click the notification bell. You'll be able to see everything we're doing on this. And I have a whole playlist on this vehicle. If you go to my homepage, you'll see playlists. Click on 1959 Cadillac DeVille. And I'm gonna also put that right here, the whole playlist. We did an engine flush, transmission fluid change, rear differential. We're doing everything. And we're gonna show this thing getting 18 miles a gallon. That's my guess. So one thing after another, this thing's coming around. All right, we'll see you back next time on synthetic oil protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.